John Doyle from Optics EQ, and I want to conclude our introductory video series on Optics Plot with Track Profile. Track Profile is essentially going to help us understand, you know, what plot positions are working at what track, surface, and distance. And uh, to the right of our Optics Plot header on a normal plot, you're going to see this, what we call V-bar graph. And it's essentially... Uh, has a category and then it has the horse's numbers and you see straight lines going up and down, okay? So what, what is that? Well, it provides a quick comparison of various handicapping categories pertaining to the horses in this race. All the statistical categories of a horse represented on the graph are in relation, this is an important part, are in relation to the other horses in the field, okay? So it gives us a quick way to kind of compare horses without having to do, go look at statistical information and then go look at someone else's statistical information and try to kind of match and, and, and figure out things. So the metric that you see up in the left-hand corner says quad percentage. Well, that's our track profile. That's what that's the quad percentage of winning profile, second, third, and all the rest. But that's really what track profile is all about. So what does quad, quad percentage do? It compares each horse's plot position, Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4, to the other horses in the field and determines which horses best fit the winning track profile. Uh, this is particularly helpful if you're unfamiliar with the circuit, if you're playing a track for the first time, you're at a simulcast, great tool to have. Uh, the post number, the name of each horse is located beneath his bar chart. Uh, the V bars show positive statistics, those being all the ones above zero and negative statistics below zero, okay? So horses with the bars that rise above zero have performed better in that category than other horses that were, were, who are below zero. In our example, it's really kind of obvious, some of this stuff, very easy to see. The one and three, and you see I have a plot, the plot for that race beneath the V-bar so you can get an idea. They're highlighted. The one and three have the best uh, plot for that track profile versus the other horses, okay? And horses six and seven, well, they're pretty neutral, right? They kind of hover around that zero. so. It's neither bad or good. It's kind of neutral, okay? So it's just one way to look at it. And then finally, uh, the two and five seem up against it from a track profile perspective. You know, their plots and the way they're plotted, the shapes, the sizes doesn't fit what the track profile wants, right? So that makes sense, right? Q4 circles uh, do very, usually do very badly everywhere. So that's just kind of obvious. So that's a quick look at track profile. That concludes our series on uh, introductory series on optics plot but there's other videos coming and other videos that are already there that show you how to actually tie all this information together and use it to actually handicap races so check those out and also check out our website at opticseq.com or on twitter at opticseq